So I love Spider-Man, but Spider-Man does have some engineering problems. The biggest problem he has, the thing that Spider-Man does that is physically impossible, is he waltzes all around the city and he leaves behind all this mass of webbing. And the question is, where does that stuff come from? You can't create mass from nothing. And so if Spider-Man starts his journey, he goes around the city and <clears throat> he is at, you know, 180 pounds and he goes around the city shooting webs then when he's done if he may have left you know 10 pounds of webbing collectively on all these buildings around which they better clean up or they're going to start catching pigeons so if he left 10 pounds of webbing around that means he's going to be 170 pounds when he's done but nobody ever seems to think of this um, so so where's that stuff coming from who knows in reality for spider-man to pull this off he'd probably need like a little scuba tank full of of material for him to shoot webs from but that wouldn't look as cool so oh well Yeah, one thing I worry about for Spider-Man also is is the issue of adhesion. You know, because when he when he jumps, he's going to shoot that web, and it's got to stick to something. And it's like, well, how do you know it's going to stick? What if it's icy that day? And what what that building made of? And also the question of how do you how do you get it to stick to the building? And also Spider-Man be able to let go of this thing. That stuff's going to stick to him too, right? And it turns out even in the last ten years, scientists are still arguing with each other about how spiders themselves managed to not get stuck in their own webs. Some scientists said that the spiders like secreted this oil that keeps them from sticking to their own webs, but now it looks like that's not the case. But anyway, I bet Spider-Man didn't really think of that, and the first time he tried it, he got stuck in his own web and he couldn't get off. So that's a problem. Okay, so if we assume that Spider-Man can store his webbing and he can shoot it out at the, at the velocity he needs and get it to stick wherever he wants, the strength of the actual material, that part really is legit. Like when people go in and say, here's a, a strand of spider silk, here's how strong it is, we express strength in the force that that thread can take divided by the area of the thread. And so when you hear people say things like spider web, that's as, as strong as steel, that's the number that they're referring to and it really is legit. And so if you could make big cables uh, uh, that had the strength of, of spider silk, then yeah, it could absolutely uh, hold Spider-Man's weight and allow him to, to zip all around the city. Strength is force per area. And this, but this strength is a material property. It is a property of that, that spider silk material. And so if you can make a lot of it and make a big old rope and maybe make the area larger, if the area is larger, then it can hold a larger force, even something as, as heavy as Spider-Man or even much larger. In this new movie, uh, it looks like he actually tries to hold a boat together. Those kind of things are feasible, assuming he doesn't pull his own shoulders out. But the, the web material itself, it really is that strong. And uh, that's the kind of thing that gets a lot of engineers really excited.